So we get to talk about uh, upcoming events, uh, changes to the world, anticipation of what's about to happen. Uh, we're aware the disclosure uh, is coming. So for most of us, this has been long uh, awaited, long awaited. Uh, and for some, their whole world is about to be shook. <laughs> like they've had the rug pulled out from underneath them. All I can say is brace yourself, folks. You're in for a bumpy ride. But have we not been already? All the tales of the red herrings and everything uh, turns out it was all true. Well, isn't that something? Um, that's absolutely exquisite. That's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. <laughs> with with the disclosure, the rival, um, we're talking about the galactic reunion, um, cosmic gathering, the every everyone coming back together. For a lot of people, they're going to realize just how small the world really, really is. Uh, the universe is much larger uh, than the mind can even, you know, fathom. Which is it's like, matter of fact, the, the, the universe and the, and the human mind are almost like the, they're very much one and the same with ex expanse. We only tap into like, what, 10% uh, of the human mind? You imagine... Uh, that you actually have the potential, the ability to actually tap into a full 100%. Uh, like the beings that we're about to be, um, that a lot of us already had contact with. Uh, and whew, to be able to manifest uh, from, the, from, the, from the, the etheric into the physical, uh, almost like a uh, perfect example would be Star Trek, you know, where they go to like the, the replicator, you know, and they ask for something and it makes it just like that. Um, where did Gene Roddenberry get that knowledge from? The, where did George Lucas get his information from? Where, <laughs> where did Stanley get his information from? The, there have always been uh, beings, higher beings, uh, that have communicated with us for those who are open to listen to it anyway. And for, for them to be able to hear it, to receive it, and, and to share it with others. Now, for the bulk of them that have went out to do this, they're usually not received very well uh, by the masses because the masses don't want to believe it or they're unable to believe it or they've been told not to believe it, where there's always a small few that they just feel and know better. They feel no better. And they're the ones to find out. They go, they research, they look, they're open. They're sure in hell not closed off. And what do you know? They experience contact. Um, uh, they have these interactions. Uh, we are multidimensional beings living in well, hell, multiple dimensions and parallel times, uh, which, funny, <clears throat> thank you of you being here right now, and there's a you in the past, and there's you in the future, and you're all living your lives at the exact same time. Um, uh, what, um, it's like the movie, um, The One with Jet Li, where, you know, he's, he's, he's got these parallel copies of him, uh, or the Steven Spielberg movie, Cloud Atlas, where uh, Tom Hanks and Halle Berry uh, are reincarnated and they keep, you know, different life uh, lifetimes, but same souls. Um, uh, what Dreams Might Come, Robin Williams. You know, these are um, things that would allow you to be able to step out of the box and know that there's much more out there. Um, Jim Hansen, you know, the... Beings that are able to create these amazing worlds of fantasy, and yet, say fantasy, but yet, a lot of what we call mythology is based in reality uh, and very factual. Um, 
and you look around right now in the world they're discovering all kinds of temples uh, and a lot of them are way older than what anyone's wanting to discuss or talk about uh, never mind what they found in the Grand Canyon that they don't want to talk about or um, the things that have been discovered in the ancient um, the ancient lands which are now in what we know as the Middle East uh, back before you know the Babylon Samaria um, you know Assyria all these places uh, they were they, the cradle of civilization um, and now and heck look Antarctica you know there's so much uh, that has been kept the lid has been kept on but now it's like Pandora's box has been open and it's all coming out now and we're not in Kansas anymore folks you know we're very much in, in Wonderland and we've been there for quite some time and you know that matrix you know that 3d you know reality or hologram or whatever you you feel or don't feel uh, isn't it interesting you think of something you feel something uh, you speak about it and next thing you know it happens uh, how often does that happen uh, synchronicity or coincidence right mm, destiny or fate there are some of us that have been here before you know and we know it and we happen to run into others very much like us and then you come to realize wait a minute our soul group our soul group decided to come at that time so you have your generations but you also have your soul groups and these in individuals these souls have been together through eons uh, of, uh, of lives uh, in, in all types of forms mind you um, in the in the more grounded part you know like the, the physical human family you know that you've been the, the mom the dad the brother the sister the uncle the aunt the cousin the niece the nephew you've been everything to each other uh, over lifetimes and what's a lifetime uh, now lifetime may go to about 112 years you know for some um, but back in the day it was not uncommon for humans to live you know hundreds of years Methuselah you hear that saying the old and the Methuselah, Methuselah <laughs> which was the um, connection with Noah Noah uh, isn't that interesting which is also connection with Enoch um, See, that's a whole nother thing about the watchers. Um, we've all the types of visitations that are happening, that's been happening. Holy moly! All the tribes, all the sacred tribes that had a connection with the land, uh, received contact and visitation. So, why is it the people wanted to wipe out them or discredit them or just make them disappear? Isn't that interesting? I know that sounds crazy, but if you do the research, you may or may not be able to find much uh, about their their culture, their heritage, um, who they talk to, how they communicate it. Uh, Chaco Canyon, uh, the Dugan tribe. Um, there are many tribes in, in South America that have also had experience. The contact, uh, you know, and then you've got, uh, hey, what about the cryptoids? They said that um, uh, certain beings didn't exist. And now they're saying that, well, that's not quite uh, the case. They're, there seems to be that they're around. Well, imagine that, right? So here's another thing. There's a lot of national parks, just say in the United States, and there are a lot of places. I mean, these national parks are huge, huge, massive amounts of land. People go missing in these parts. They disappear. The, um, you can't get information on it. Why are people disappearing in the national parks for? The, they're there one moment, they're gone the next. There's no explanation. Well, somebody knows. They're just not particularly wanting to talk about it to others. But I can tell you, for some of the of we've had that experience where we've uh, we we've had a, a loss of time, uh, we've disappeared. Things have happened. Uh, Mount Shasta, the Smoky Mountains, the Grand Canyon, uh, Yosemite, the um, Big Bear, the Yellowstone, the um, 
people disappear in these places without a trace. Uh, and they're hot spots. If you, you follow David Politis, you'll know that uh, people go into na national parks and they don't come back out. And there's never, you know, sometimes there's not a trace found of them at all. And other times, people are searching where the spot where they're supposed to have been at and people leave and then they're there, but people will cover that. How do you explain this? You know, the conspiracy theorists. Some people love and love people just like, you know, they're, they're you know, hogwash yet it seems that the, the ones that come forward to bring knowledge and information why don't they go missing you know why why are they discredited uh why are they labeled crazy you know the and then next thing you know their stuff is seized uh their information research is gone uh confiscated look at nikolai tesla that man created a free energy for the world and the greedy Greedy people that ran the country, ran the world, said hell no to free energy. We could have free energy back in the 1800s, folks. Wrap your mind around that one. Uh, he created cell phones back then. Uh, direct wireless. You know, the... Of course, he was not from here, you know. And literally, the, just like Valiant Thor and others who came here to bring information, the... Dwight Eisenhower even broke it down. You know, he, he, he told people. He told people because he met them. Um, hell, Truman met them too. The, how do you think... How do you think we uh, our technology boosted so fast from the 30s to now? It's like we've hit a giant time scale. Do you remember when we used to have 8-tracks? Some of you may or may not. That, that's a bit dated. But eight tracks turned into cassette tapes. Cassette tapes can turn turned into CD uh, CDs. CDs turned into DVDs. DVDs turned into MP3s. And now everything is like digital. The just like that, the technology is you know, almost obsolete before it begins. Now you remember the computers used to be these big bulky massive things, and now your phone is as fast as a freaking computer, and it does it all. Now, you remember when phones were like those big bricks? You know, matter before even that, you had a landline and a payphone. Some people don't even know what a landline or payphone is now. That's crazy. They're archaic. Technology shifting very, very rapidly. And for some reason, we seem to have the technology now. Um, oh, hell, Bob Lazar, the guy from Area 51 that talked about reverse engineering the, the spaceships. And not too far off from that is he because literally um you remember the i mean the blackbird um yeah the supersonic blackbird the, um the, the sr1 the super fast flying you know spy jet that thing was hitting mach 3 in like what the 60s 60s well hell look at the technology that uh, germany had and i mean in the 30s that was Everybody else's technology was just behind, behind. But they somehow came up with, you know, the technology to do it. But they also were, you know, involved in things that all the stuff that people said is not real and then we'll talk about. Yet, they very much said it is real. Uh, we do know it's there and we're going to use it. Uh, and they did. Just ask Admiral Byrd. He'll tell you when he went down to Antarctica and found out about some things down there that kind of shook some stuff up. And now, come to think about it, when he went down there and uh, to have a lot of the stuff, uh, what they experienced and he came back. Now, how many countries are stationed in Antarctica? How many, how many of them have labs or bases down there? What are they researching down there? Uh, why did John Kerry shoot off down there? Uh, what was that? Um, what was it? Um, mm, Neil Armstrong? Uh, Buzz Aldrin? What were they? What, what they saw? What they saw? What they saw on the moon? Uh, why have we not went back to the moon? What is on the dark side of the moon? Um, hell, what? It, what is the moon? Uh, the, Ringing like a bell for hours. What's up with that? You know, was it fake? Was it film? Well, whatever it was. I mean, think about this. Stanley Kubrick, Greg, the 2001 Space Odyssey. 
I know that's conspiracy stuff. I'll rope it back in. Um, Notre Dame, you know, he he predicted quite a bit of things in his quad trains. Seems like a lot of it seems to be fairly accurate. Um, I'd say ask <laughs> ask the Vatican, but you can't ask the Vatican. You got to get permission. They would probably know a thing or two about what's going on. I mean, the church has been around for eons, right? It's been around for a minute. They know some things. Uh, wow, they really know some things. I mean, they're in Rome. I mean, in Rome. I mean, they're not part of Rome, but it's in Rome. But Rome was once the, the, you know, the ruler of the world. Hmm, all roads lead back to Rome. I'm just saying. Some would say it could possibly be, be the end times, but yeah, you know, ages change. You know, we we shift. We you know, we the um, golden age, bronze age, silver age. You know, industrial age, space age, <laughs> intergalactic age. Hey, you know, the think about it. We've already been shown it, and it seems that the military already has it. And then after several years, we get introduced to it. Think about the Concord, you know, the war, you know, you know, it was way ahead of its time. Mm, we got a lot going on, folks. So for those that are ready, for those that are ready, you know, the, um, some of you are just here for your first time. This may be your first lifetime. So you're very much 3D, you know, taste, touch, smell, uh, hearing, you know, feeling, you know, you're all into that. The 3D, you want to, mm, ah, Nothing wrong with that, you know, and for others, you know, they've been there and done that so many times. It's like the, uh, they got the souvenir picture, the souvenir t-shirt, the souvenir mug. Uh, they're good. They have done that so many times. They know it by heart. Uh, and for others, they're just like, they don't know if they want to try that or not. Um, they're a little, little bit hesitant. It's, um, it's like that interesting topic about religion and spirituality and there's a huge difference folks because religion is very much about control and manipulation you do as they say uh or you're black ball black blacklisted excommunicated kicked out well damn you're kicked out of the club you didn't follow the rules uh how many people do that if you were that you'd be a sheep uh and most most beings are not sheep. They are going to rebel and fight. Uh, hello, that's what our forefathers did, right? They they rebelled, fought. Uh, you know, hell, matter of fact, King Henry the Eighth. He said, "Damn it, if I can't have my cake and eat it too, then I'm gonna do what I want." Um, and what the church said, "Well, fine, you're excommunicated." And he said, "I don't particularly care." Um, and then from there, what do you know? The tutors and all that good stuff. But eventually, they ended up, a bunch of people showed up in America, right? Because <laughs> they didn't want to listen to what they were saying. Was their we're going to do what we want to do. And they came over here. But America was already preoccupied, right? You know, it already had people here. There were already people here before they got here. Um, they were native here. You know, they were the Native Americans here. Uh, this was their land. <clears throat> These individuals that didn't want to listen to do what they were told over there came over here and decided, you know, you know what? <laughs> we're going to do what we want to do over here. And they took these people's land. Uh, well, hell, they took all the good land and, and gave them the crappy land. And then pretty much even said, you're going to conform. You're going to join us. Or we're going to race you. Um, I know that sounds touchy, but hell, just look up the um, ooh, Trail of Tears, um, Little Bighorn, um, yeah, the, from the mm -mm -mm, 1700, 1800s, uh, America went through quite the change, didn't it? Um, all the buffalo wiped out. Um, huh. Sometimes, you know, people can be fairly hypocritical of what they say and what they do. And 
you can always learn something from someone. If their words do not align with their actions, and that happens three times or more, you might want to take a second thought before you start listening to them. Um, if someone tells you to do something and you follow through with that blindly, <laughs> question everything. Um, well, hell, even a conspiracy theorist questions thing, even a skeptic questions thing. Uh, you know who doesn't question things? Someone that's devoutly religious. They don't really question much of anything. They do exactly as they're told. Or else. Well, uh, spirituality is about unconditional love. And if I've learned anything, <laughs> the ascendant masters, the, the human beings and the beings of light and, of, and enlightenment, they came here to help us to understand our divine purpose and roles of what we're here to do. There are some of you... Um, that are being reincarnated. You've done this before. This ain't your first rodeo. Um, you're able to share messages in matters and ways that your experiences allows you to share it in the form of advice to others. And you're speaking your truth to these individuals because one, you care about them, two, you love them, and you just want the best for them. But we also come to learn that human beings don't always do as they're told. We just don't. Uh, but boy, I tell you what, there's some people really trying to change that. You just look at MK Ultra, and you'll find out that there's some things that you'd be shocked uh, that you've been guinea pigs and test subjects for. Um, vaccines are a touchy subject, but boy, I tell you what, if you look up the Tuskegee Airmen, some people will have a valid reason why they say hell no to the jab. And for others, they would be like polio. You know, so, you know, when, you know, how the smallpox, vaccine from a smallpox, you know, black plague, you know, yeah, yeah, that's some nasty stuff. Um, but hell, I tell you what, we seem to have people in labs tinkering around creating stuff. I mean, think about it. If they, they can clone, remember Dolly the sheep? They clone the sheep. So... And, and embryos and all that, they, they tinker around. They doing some, some high advanced stuff. Oh, shit. What about the particle accelerator? The, the thing that splits the atoms. They, they, could, they could potentially create a black hole. They've talked about it. You know, they... So, folks, we got information and technology about things. And if you just go looking, you'll find it. And then, of course... Some people will try to get you to say that's not real. These are not the droids you're looking for. Believe that if you want to. Uh, but if you're if you're open to find the truth and to seek the truth, um, you'll experience some type of truth. Your truth may be they may not be their truth, but look, there there's universal truths out there. Uh, just like we're not the only ones here, um, which. How, how could that be? Out of all the, the universe, you're going to tell me that Earth is the only planet in the whole universe with life? That's kind of hard to swallow. I mean, you look back at the, literally the ancient architecture of our civilizations, and you know damn well they had help. Um, and why do they go to such great lengths to cover it up? Or to debunk it. They don't want you knowing nothing. Why? Hmm? You know, because sheep and cattle. You know, it's nice when you're obedient. It's kind of like um, that movie 1984. <laughs> There's a, you know, usually they show it through the media, you know, before they implement it, folks. Um, if you just go looking through it, you'll see there's a lot of information there. But it's like they also said, Jack Nicholas said it best. You can't handle the truth. And some people, they, they, that's, it's hard for them to swallow. They can't even chew on it. They would, you're about to shatter the whole paradigm, okay? And when you shatter somebody's whole paradigm, that's like, all right, 
Here's one for the. Um, it was said that what? The world was created in um, seven days, right? Seven days. <sighs> Please explain the dinosaurs to me. They're like, what, 65 million years old? I mean, that's just, you know, I, I had that question when I was 10 years old. Um, you know, and if Adam named all the animals, you know, well, shit, did he name all the dinosaurs too? Um, and if Noah put two of each animal on the ark, where were the dinosaurs on there too? What, how, what about the unicorns and all the other uh, cryptoids? The, and man, just the logistics of that. That's, you know, rain for 40 days and 40 nights. That's a lot of water. And that's, you know, then you got all these animals. How many animals was that, right? And, man, where, where do they, all the food and all the poop? I don't know. Just some things just add up to me. You know, just when you think about it and you're like, mm, that doesn't quite make sense to me. The... Just like, you know, the Knights Templar. It was said that they, you know, found, you know, the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant and they shipped it off, um, you know, to England. Um, and then, of course, the bloodline, you know, the Jesus Christ bloodline potentially is the Holy Grail. Um, you know, like the royal family is potentially part of that, which is why... You know, they want to keep it all in the family. You know, you know, you know ancestors condone, right? But it's okay for royal people. You know, but hillbillies are, you know, the, they're like, they call them hillbillies. That's, forgive me, that's not what I meant. But hell, that's what, you know, in the back hills of Kentucky, damn it, that, you know, that's what, that's what they're called. So, the, but how can, you know, the, Country folks can say that, you know, but the royals do it. So, and the royals are all over, not just over there, but all of them. They want to keep it in the family. So, no wonder they're jacked up in some ways. I mean, genetically, I mean, if you've ever seen that movie Wrong Turn or The Hills Have Eyes or whatever, that man. So, they've shown its potential. It's potential. Um, I'm just saying that, you know, the people that are in charge. Well, why is it that the 1% control the world and the 99%, you know, are taking orders from them? The, wasn't that what happened with Anunnaki? You know, when they created, you know, they came here and created the... <laughs> and then they rebelled, you know, and they took back off and now here we are. But I guess that's a tell for another day because people don't want to talk about that stuff either, you know. Oh, my God. Goodness, you know, the mm, so many things Atlantis, Lemuria, um, uh, the, the George Scallion maps, you know, the where he shows where the, the water rises, um, and parts of the world is literally covered, you know, they of course, other would say it's global, global climate or you know, change or whatnot, but water levels rise, and then apparently Lemuria is going to rise again, um which there's supposed to be there's one over on the east coast and one over on the west coast um there are things that are about to be rediscovered the just like how antarctic has two miles of ice that was like flash frozen it was like literally like flash frozen how do you do that because it literally has a climate that was subtropical you know so all and, you know, and it's got mountain ranges mountain ranges it's massive uh, and what they found underneath I don't know whether it's true or not about the, the highly intelligent um, octopus type being that um, was discovered there but it could be a false tell or not you know who knows but uh, the Russians seem to know quite a bit of things you know and well hell so do we everybody likes keeping secrets right uh, secret societies, secret, you know, labs, you know, secret codes, uh, secret languages, it's secrets everywhere. John F. K. Did, 
John F. Kennedy, he did not like secrets or secret societies. Well, shit, that, 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 well, uh, you know, you know, they, they don't like it when you're trying to, you know, mess with their boys club. So, mm, 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 mm. and it's all connected. I know it's all connected. Politics and Hollywood. Yeah, sports is all connected. You know, it's. Keep them entertained, keep them distracted, keep them numbed and dumbed down, you know, give them a good gadget, um, disconnect them from their spirituality, you know, calcify their pineal glands. Uh, folks, if you knew, if you actually looked at the food that you were eating, and you actually read the ingredients in the store, and, and you realized just how much of that was actually real food, you wouldn't be buying stuff at the store anymore. But Forrest Gump said it best, you know, stupid is, stupid does. And it, you know, if you don't want to know, you know, uh, you, you <laughs> ignorance is bliss, you know, until you go truth seeking. And then when you find it, you're like, holy, wow. And you, they want to run and tell someone. And then, of course, you run and tell your loved ones, your family, they're looking at you like you're crazy. You know, now you're the black sheep and you're conspiracy theorists. Great. And yet, you're the one that they're always asking the information from, right? Only when it's convenient for them. Anytime else, they want to disregard all of that. That's fine. <sighs> the many different religions in the world, you know, and, and for whichever one fits for them, whichever one resonates with them. Some of them take it a tad bit far, you know, the, my goodness, you know, the word zealot and heretic's been thrown around a few times, and I tell you what, if anybody who's been reincarnated, they know, you know, they, they give religion a wide berth, a respectful wide berth, um, or some of them are very much undercover with it, because you, you got gifts, you see, you feel, you hear, you know. Uh, and you share it, your channel, your medium, or your, your, you know, next thing you know, they're wanting to call you a witch, or they're wanting to burn you at the stake, they're wanting to drown you, hang you, <laughs> draw a cord to you. People did some barbaric stuff. Uh, but you must do dark things, don't they? And where do they learn that from? You know, my goodness, I mean, hell. Uh, that, that, all right, Adam had... Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel, right? And then Cain kills Abel. And what? How in the world was the world populated? Are you saying that they created everybody? Right? That's what you're saying? And they were all different, you know. We all had the same blood, but we're all different colors. And we're like Crayola. We're, we're like Crayola. Um, Hmm, isn't that interesting? Because some of the some of the crayons are missing from the box. You know, some of some of some of the, some of the colors are gone. Uh, you know, uh, the red, we have the red. We have the the white. We have the black. We have the brown. We have the yellow. Where's the blue? Where's the purple? The um, where's the green? The because they, the colors of the rainbow. You know, we're all like skittles. Um, there were some, you know, there were more than this, you know, the, um, uh, there were tales of the blue people, you know, the, there, there are other, the, there were clearly, uh, you know, the, that was just the term people, so they said the, the tit lit blue, the, um, but my goodness, the Bartok, uh, I don't want to butcher the name, you know, the Bartok, Bar, you know, you know what it's talking about with the Krishna and Vishnu and, uh, you know, he's fighting against the nine-headed demon king, and the, they're using the, you know, the, the flying castles, and they're annihilating each other. The people saying they're shooting with bows and arrows. No, they're not. They got ships, <laughs> spaceships. You know, the come to think about it, you look at the architecture of, of, of ancient India. Um, mm, Anchor Wat. You know the. Some of their, the architecture of these places is mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Uh, 
the Yellow Emperor, uh, the first emperor of China. And it said that he came from the stars. It said he descended from, uh, he was a dragon. Um, he, knowledge, uh, astrology, medicine, uh, I Ching, all the things that he created for China, uh, which ancient civilization, ancient, <laughs> ancient Chinese secret art. The, um, isn't that something? The, but literally, the, um, it all that came from that, um, Mm, Taoism, Buddhism, uh, Confucius, all the different um, ways that they, Eastern philosophy uh, versus Western philosophy. Two, it's like night and day. Uh, one, um, the Eastern is much more spiritual. It's much, much more metaphysical because they were connected to that. They understood that. They realized that. Why is it that over here they in the Western, they want to try to, these are not the joys that you're seeing. They want to cover it all up. Even from back then to now, they don't want to be up front with shit. Except for now, they're saying that there actually are things out there. But, uh, the sh of course, Roswell. And, you know, and it's been more than just Roswell. And all the stuff over in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Florida. Good grief. You know, um, what was it, Gulf Breeze? Um, why is there a military base in all these places in areas where you really wouldn't expect there to be a military base, but there's a military base. And then there's usually UFO sightings, Arizona, uh, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, uh, California, uh, Oregon, Washington. Montana, my goodness, a lot of UFO sightings in these places. Florida, um, worldwide. And if you look, if you do the research, even Washington, D.C., I mean, the UFOs have flown over across Washington. So it's not like um, this is new news. Not like this is new news. Um, so what are you going to do when you, can you handle the truth? Um, and if not, what are you going to do about it? The, it's funny, you know, zombie apocalypse, right? You know, you look at that, but then at the same time, what, uh, alien invasion? But hell, aren't we already aliens? You know, our DNA is quite interesting, is it not? Since the, what, uh, reptilian? Yeah, we have reptilian DNA. The, um, the most primal, primal uh, instincts. Yeah, what do you know? And we still hold on to those too. So go figure. But an enlightened one no longer craves those things. Yeah. So why is it that the 1% craves those things and, you know, people in the poorest countries, you know, may not have much, but they seem to be able to have, uh, you know, a very strong spirituality connection. And why is it that the 1% the want to try to wipe them out or at least subjugate them? Something to think about. Uh, what we eat, what we listen to, what we watch. The mind control in so many ways. The, they want you asleep. The matrix is real whether you want to acknowledge it or not. You know, the, the battery. Are you a battery? You know, I mean, because we do put out, you know, energy, heat, you know, by our, our BTUs. We, uh, our, we do have an electro, you know, make, uh, our or auric field, biomagnetic field. Yeah. You know, interesting stuff. And what if we're, you know, you've seen the movie Lucy, you know, where she she's actually able to utilize 100% of her brain. Yeah, and then it's got Morgan Freeman. You should check it out, you know, just, for, you know, Morgan Freeman, you know, it's got Morgan Freeman. In it. Scarlett Johansson is not bad, too, you know. Worthwhile, you know. The, I enjoyed it. The, but there are things out there, you know, Mm, it's like right on yeah you know release release your mind you know we're confronting they want you my goodness if you actually realize that you can manifest any and everything that you you want or need what would you do you know because literally the, um, in the spirit world the etheric world you're able to do that here in the 3D, see, 
Uh, it's a lot thicker. It's a lot denser over here. Everything's solid. So, you know, when you stub your toe, it hurts. Um, but if you're actually able to, you know, be connected with your higher self, you know, your higher consciousness, and, you know, because you've heard us saying that we're, we're all, you know, we're all connected and we're all part of the one, you know, the great central sun, um, you know, that mass consciousness, you know, and, uh, and your individual part, you know, of that. Uh, but yet we're mirrors of each other, you know, so we project and we, um, you know, what we're, think about this, when you're afraid, and you don't want to face it or address it or deal with it, you know, your ego kicks in, fight or flight, you know, which that was great for back in the day, back when the dinosaurs were running around the saber-toothed tigers, because you didn't want to get eaten, you know, you'd better watch your step, but now, <sighs> People can, you know, go off on a various multitude of things, usually just because of the, you know, the emotional words that have been used on them. But words are powerful, you know, casting spells. But that's another thing that people have forgotten. Your words are incredibly powerful. You can manifest with your words and, if, you know, what you're thinking and how you feel about it and the words you use to say, you know, and the action steps you take to it, that's your blueprint for manifestation. You know, and what are you wanting to manifest? And a lot of people still, you know, they're caught up in the illusion that they're not worthy uh, to receive or to have uh, or to remember who they are. And for those that do remember who they are, they are absolutely having a moment right now because if you're a coffee drinker, it's like accepting instant coffee instead of having premium ground you know, you know, the good stuff, you know, whether it's from the Blue Mountains or, you know, but you know, the good stuff, you know, the, um, you don't want to settle for less than, and they're trying to convince everybody that you're less than, and they've been pulling this bullshit lie for how long now, you know, so for the ones that are like, you know, wake up, because the moment that you wake up, well, my goodness, then you're free, then, you know, but for most people, they don't know what they're going to do once they're free. You know, the, what do you want to do? I don't know. So, therefore, they'd rather, you know, stay where they're at. You remember the one dude, you know, plug me back in. I don't remember nothing. Some would rather forget, you know, and, um, uh, you know, head in the sand syndrome, the ostrich, you know, they'd rather, you know, deny it, that it exists or that it's real. Um, and then it shows up and it's right there in your front of your face. And then what? Then your paradise is broken. And, you know, those with fragile, a fragile mind state may not be able to handle that. They may have what's known as a mental breakdown, you know, because, <laughs> oh my God, they're real. They're here. They've been here and they've been real. So, and it's way more than just that. Hmm. Elemental. Sasquatch. E.T. Interdimensional beings. Um, Sasquatch. There are more things out there than you can even, even wrap your mind around. And for those that are aware of it, the, for some of them, great joy. And for others, sheer panic and terror. And for others, they're just... They, you know, what you're talking about, Willis, they don't want to go there. So if you go there with them, just be prepared that you're going to have a moment. Okay, because when you're sharing something with someone who is not ready for it, and you have not checked in to see where they're at with it, and you just want to hit them over with the hammer of truth, just know that they... They may retaliate, okay? So, uh, we live in a world where um, an eye for an eye, the, it was back then and it still seems to resonate now. If you know too much, if you say too much, if you do too much, you can find yourself in over your head. Usually it's better to stay, you know, the uh, middle, the middle path. You know, seems to work. You know, not too much, not too little, just right. Go to log zone. 
you know, if you do too much, you know, eat too much, drink too much, you know, or do too much of anything that you really, really like, you know, any of those instant gratification things, uh, they usually can kill you. Isn't that something? Eat too much can kill you? Drink too much can kill you? Love too much can kill you? Because <laughs> you just, you gotta, you gotta be aware. You gotta be aware. The... <sighs> Usually whatever's on the label is not what's really in the ingredients, okay? So, and people wear masks. And, you know, <laughs> and some people you think are people, and it's true, they're people, but they, not, they may not be the people you think they would be. You know, and if you, you, I don't know if you remember it, but back in the 80s, there was a, there was a series on NBC, and it was called V. You know, um, and it was about these reptilians, but they look like humans, you know, but they're, they're, when they took their skin off, they were reptilians and they ate mice. They ate mice. It was back in the 80s. If you don't remember, you should Google it because it's, it's something, you know. The, um, yeah, wild stuff, folks, is real. You know, the, if they're showing it on TV, more than likely they know something about it. So, and it's, Think about this. Have you ever noticed how many times the Simpsons, the Simpsons predicted something and it came true? Where did Matt Groening get that information from? I would absolutely love to know. You know, because he has been on the money. We probably should ask him for lottery number picks or something, because every time he's put something in the Simpsons, it has come true. Just saying, if you Google that up too, you'll see just, you know, what are the odds of that? Um... Mm, several other things, you know, to other topics. Um, a lot of people are caught up in power and status, money. So money is energy. And they say it's the root of all evil. No, it's not. You know, because you use, you know, money is the energy. You know, it's like alchemy, equivalent exchange. You know, use it for what you need it for. But some people obsess over it, and that's all they want. Kind of like he might have said, all he wanted was gold. And then he ended up starving to death because he couldn't eat food. See, he had all the gold but couldn't eat food. Starved to death. Thus, you got to be aware of what you're asking for, folks. And, you know, so we get to have these moments of reflection, review, uh, reevaluate. <laughs> Think for, think for yourself. Uh, get out in nature. You'll be amazed at how it helps you to reconnect and to um, strengthen your connection spirit. There's a reason why, you know, walk with your feet, you know, on the ground. Um, we used to walk with our feet on, on the ground connected to the earth. You know, now we wear shoes, which, you know, not even was not even ergonomically right for our feet. Hmm. You know, a lot of the ancient tribes still they don't wear wear that, and their feet are built up. The calluses are built up. It's like your body has all the natural. You know, the body's a remarkable, remarkable machine. Um, how it can heal itself. Hey, our ancient ancestors they didn't have, uh, you know the I guess what all the stuff we have today, but they still seem to be able to cure themselves, and they were able to do you know surgeries and whatnot, but. You know, the food that they were able to eat was able to heal themselves, and now the food you eat will kill you. And that's crazy. So, you know, the preservatives and food colorings and dyes, artificial flavors, and what the hell is natural flavors anyway? As, you know, till this day, I don't even know what that is. You know, made with artificial flavor, natural flavors. You know, it's kind of like the Coke secret. You just, mm, which, by the way, Coca-Cola used to have cocaine in it, believe it or not. True story. So, the, oh, and they were legal back then. You know, all the hardcore drugs were actually legal. But back in, you know, 1930s, they changed some things. And next, you know, reefer madness and all these things became Schedule 1. You couldn't, uh, my goodness, you, you should look up Terrence McKenna. Um, DMT and all these other things that just 
you know, allows the mind to go there. Um, ayahuasca, um, Cabo, um, you know, the shamans knew. And they, shamans, you know, are able to go between, they walk between the worlds. They receive their information. So they were able to share that with the other, you know, the, with, the, with the tribe. And they had this connection. So it's interesting that they don't want you really knowing much about that. But there are many avenues that will assist you in remembering who you are. Because you're far more than just a 3D, you know, sack of meat, you know, that's here, you know, to enjoy the 3D pleasures of life. The, some of you have spiritual contracts to fulfill. And that's why you're back here. Uh, and this is the time now, uh, it's all being activated and people are wondering when now, um, and that will continue to be very, very prevalent. Uh, the time is now major activation is happening. So, uh, if you've already been activated you already know what you're called to do, you know, it's your time to step up to the plate. Uh, if you're wanting to be activated, all you need to do is set the intention. I assure you, you will be. If you're afraid of being activated, <laughs> well, it's going to happen at some point. Or, you know, whenever you're ready. I imagine there's no rush for you, you know, because for those who are not into it, you know, they're going to feel that, you know, um, time's irrelevant anyway, right? <laughs> they only get one lifetime. Uh, but for those that understand reincarnation, you know better, you know, so... Uh, you know, it's kind of like asking the, what the owl, and, you know, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? <laughs> well, I mean, how patient are you? You know, some people are fairly impatient. They want it now, like Veruca Salt. They want it right now. And just because you get it right now, the instant gratification is not always going to be the best thing for you. You know, but this is the world that they've lovely helped shape us into. More, 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 more. What is it? Greed is good. Uh, Wall Street. Yeah, Wall Street. The, isn't that something? People get paid huge sums of money to manage other people's money, and they actually lose these people money, but they get rich. And a teacher who teaches your child to educate your child gets paid bare, bare minimal. Bare minimal. The people that educate your children get paid bare minimal, but the people that, that, that rob you blind get made, made like fat cats. The people you elect in office. How many politicians tell the truth? A politician makes a whole lot of promises to get elected, and then they get elected, and the next thing you know, they can't fulfill those promises. <sighs> Isn't it funny? The red or the blue? Are you Democrat or Republican? What difference does it make? They're all part of the same damn system. Hmm. Supposed to be for the people by the people. And yet, the, it doesn't seem to be that way. How is it that a senator can be elected and they have, get like, their term is like, what, six years or something like that? Um, impressive. And they all make like a hundred something thousand. And most people don't want to raise minimum wage, you know, to 50 bucks. The system's broken, you know, and the system's been broken. But if you're content with it, you know, hey, you know, as long as you're distracted, these are not the droids you're looking for. You're not going to say anything. Uh, but uh, when you receive that epiphany and you know, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> uh, okay, so the ships show up, you know, there's however they choose to do that. Uh, and mind you now, the, we have the technology, we built ships too, so uh, don't get duped, you know, thinking that it's, it's actually from, from them, but it's actually us. Uh, that has been mentioned, you know, that uh, that could that could play out, so... For those that want to know, the truth will come to them. And for those who don't want to know, they'll stick their head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend that they don't know what you're talking about. Or better yet, they'll just label you crazy, you know, and, and do whatever they can to discredit you and, um, and try to make you disappear. 
you know, and then seize your research and technology. Uh, and then use it as their own. That's this foul, foul stuff, man. And Nikola Tesla stuff would have changed the world. Uh, and oh, oh, hell, hell, the guy that made the, the car that ran off water. You know, they made sure his stuff never saw the light of day. Um, there are so many other things. Greetings, Earthlings. How are you people doing out there on planet Earth? Enjoying life, enjoying your sovereignty, the frequencies. I mean, this is an awesome place to enjoy frequencies. Uh, the trees, the plants, the animals, nature. We forget to come out here and connect with nature, with Mother. And we always forget about the Father, too. Maybe we have father and mother issues. <laughs> Everybody's going through some changes. Everybody's going through some movement at this time. And this is kind of what we're gearing up to right now. In this time this timeline, this dimension that we are in. There's no mistake that you're either watching this or you're being part of some community or some group because um, at the time we're at right now is that we're gathering the medicine, which are the people. The medicine is the people. The medicine is here. We've been taught by the star people about how to be in union with this earth, with everything in it. Well, we always forget how to do that. So we have to have friends, family remind us of where we've been, maybe where we're heading to, because we can't predict the future. And we need to forget about the past. And there's no real definite answer right now for the present moment. This is why we come out here to nature to, to meditate. To be with oneself. To understand that we are part of this tree, a part of this, the birds and everything that's here. Don't forget how important you are, how important your frequency is. I know there's a lot of changes happening and I know a lot of people are, are very tired. It's like we're, we're all very tired of just like getting through these frequencies. These, this earth is in constant motion. And we have to be in motion with it. It's sometimes easier said than done, right? <laughs> but the star people are always sending messages. It doesn't necessarily have to be right physical messages, but they're there if you really look and see with, with your first eye. Understanding all these mystical beings are here, like Bigfoot, like Sasquatch, our brothers, or sisters, the star people, the elementals, they're all here. They're all expressing themselves through the trees, through the sounds, the frequencies of the trees, the wind that blows. It brings a lot of changes it brings a lot of answers we just need to pay attention to to a lot of them and we don't because we we are bombarded with all kind of synthetic frequencies I don't know where the hell that came from but it came out synthetic frequencies 
And this is why we were challenged with, is this real? Or what is this? Is it really a matrix we created for ourselves? To trap ourselves here? We have the power to make all those changes. We have the power to disintegrate what no is no longer needed. We have the power to be a human being with special powers, with magical powers. You're all we're all magical beings. We just forgot what the heck we're doing. And got caught up in this other world where there's constant flow of negative, positive energy coming through, understanding we are energy, we are fluishy, we are everything. We got so many labels on us. If you could really see all the labels we have on us, you'll be surprised. Like, wow. Everything is getting revealed. Everything is being disclosed. And this is what we're waiting for. This is why we're here. To keep the frequencies up. To, to, to keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep going. I know you're tired. Keep going. Be strong. This is our last dance here on earth. Make the best dance of it, you know? Have fun. Play. And this is where my wife comes in. Because <laughs> she knows how to play. She shows me how to play. <laughs> it's like, it takes you too serious sometimes. She shows me how to wear colors. Shows me how to, you know, let my hair down. Practice being a human being. I'm going to let my beautiful wife, Tammy, channel in some information, some downloads, some codes. <laughs> well, hello. Um, so, why do we do this? We do this for love, right? Love, 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 love. Um, our performance. Um, the experience of love. And, and embracing that experience so that way we can have compassion and empathy for others and really standing in our true authenticity, really being who we really are as a learned human because we are star beings, spirit, having this human experience and um, it's a very amazing experience and we love this earth and we know that it's, it's almost a time of the great purge for this earth and uh, and I feel I feel like we are the last ship taking our people home and uh, it's been a lot of work to to really be that example of a higher frequency and to let go of the dogma and the control and to let go of the Mean Girls Club, and to let go of, you know, and and really it, it, it's hard to be in that neutral space and really understand what neutrality is about. And it's a struggle in this human body and with the emotions that get built up and pent up in here, especially through everything that's been going on through 2020 and, and really dealing with... Um, a lot of the artificial intelligence or whatever has been bombarded through us. Um, extracting that and really knowing that we can overcome that through our higher frequency and through uh, quantum healing, the expression of quantum healing and, and knowing that we have the ability to uh, jump timelines to heal ourselves is uh, really important for us to understand 
uh, or inner stand because we want to start inner standing instead of being under anybody. So we have to change our words. We have to start using our language. So Romania tiara, nia te coromanania, ni aran, nia toron, nia takar, nia tierra. So we have to learn this stuff and remember, and it's bringing back our memories and really sitting with the fact that everybody has to go through their experience at their perfect timing and we have no control over anybody uh, on what experience they're going to have which is very frustrating for a lot of us star people that have have joined this journey together we have to come to this earth lose our memory and incarnate and do the struggle with everybody and then try to remember all, all of what we've been and who we've been and how we've gone through, which is null and void. We don't really need that anymore because we have to learn how to be in this present moment. Embrace the present moment. And what, what we've been let to know is that we no longer have to do a lot of that hard work anymore. We don't have to go through the warrior stage anymore. We don't have to fight for anything. We don't have to be radical about anything anymore. We just be, be the human being and enjoy the life that has been bestowed upon us in this earth, this amazing earth experience, listening to these birds right now and watching the clouds as we're doing this interview. It's very powerful and it's, it's sad to know that we will transition and, and, and maybe not come to earth again. Or maybe yes, maybe who knows. We don't know what's next. I wish we did know what was next, but then well, how fun would that be? That would be a boring video game, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> maybe you already know you won the game. You're like, so well, then why the fuck why am I play doing? it? Yeah. Why am I doing it then? <laughs> right? So, really letting go to allow, allow the experiences to come. And knowing that our brothers and sisters are here with us and going through everything. You're going through everything with us. We're going through the same thing that you're going through. We feel it. We have these pains. We have the headaches. We have a uh, feeling like your body just got pummeled across the freeway, you know. And, and overcoming that and feeling those frequencies coming through your body. And feeling like you're not in your body, but yet you have to work with this body. So there's been many shifts going on, especially through this ring of fire. And then your mirrors come in and your shadow work comes in heavier and heavier. And the more that that you don't do that work, then it it it's going you have no choice but to go through that. And then evolve past it. And then elevate to the next level. It's like taking a test. Yeah, you're taking well, your little quizzes and your little summaries and you're you're doing quiz after quiz and then finally you got to take the final. <laughs> did you pass your final? <laughs> um, did you study for your final? And then there's people that want to come and they want to cheat off of your test. And it's like, no, you can't cheat off the test. I put my thumbprint on it. So... Remembering that we have elevated to a consciousness of, of a higher than fifth dimension. 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, you know, seeing everything for what the perspective is. And if you are living in that consciousness, there shall be no duality. We do, we do need that, the polar opposite, we do need that. But we don't need the division of the masculine and feminine anymore. And so once we have the higher consciousness, we handle things in a little bit of a different way. Um, no more segregation, no more separation, no more judgment, because everybody that you judge, you're judging yourself. And, and when we keep doing this, then we're not going to elevate. So we have to really take that step back and really own our own shit. Sorry. <laughs> And, and elevate past that. So, really being 
the Christ consciousness. Everybody talks about Yeshua and Buddha and all these beings that have been before us. And we are those beings. And coming back to that. Not seen to be the rug. Because you have to be in your true authentic self. Because the sacred mother will hate in a loving way. So judging yourself and judging others is just going to take you two steps, ten steps, twenty steps back. Depending on what your journey is. So letting go. Letting go so things can flow. And being that water. The water represents that flow, that ebb and tide, and you know, and uh, it's been feeling like we are in that ship. Oh my gosh, it has been bombarded by frequencies of the human, human residents, and you know, we are express we express ourselves through this third dimensional language so we can communicate with one another because we're still practicing the telepathy part of saying see she heard me <laughs> she understands <laughs> and it's just like we we practice all of these practices of healing of spiritual work and you know, trying to gather all the information is, is like we are those true crystal beings always gathering data, gathering information to better ourselves, to have a, a more beautiful journey than we ever had. Because we, if you believe like if the, you had like a past life or, you know, some type of trauma that you went through you, you, you're gonna you know that's gonna make you stronger to deal with a lot of stuff and then this is where the graduation part comes like did you study he goes Shh. I studied for so so long I failed many tests yeah it's okay to say that but you know what I gained a lot of strength and a lot of knowledge of Am I on the right direction? Am I heading in the right direction? Am I on the right path? We talk about paths. We talk about stepping stones. We talk about the, our guides helping us. You're your own guide to be truthful, to be in your authentic self. It's like you are your own guide. And you can ask for help. Sometimes I don't like to do that because so, I like to do things on my own, but I know the help is there when I need it. Help comes in many forms. So, it's, it's, a, it's a true test down here. It's like, you know, talking to the galactics. You come down here and experience these. So they came down to have these experiences. <laughs> this Nyata, she's right here. We came down many times. And putting that beacon out there, the that distress signal. Beep, 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 beep. The SOS sending out the message in the bottle. Need help down here. So they send all these star kids, these star people, the younger generation, that are showing us different ways of interacting with one another. And we're showing them the sacredness of interacting with one another. So this is where we need to bridge that gap, that rainbow. We saw the rainbow yesterday, it was awesome. Thank you guys, that was beautiful. Great job. <laughs> it was like the rainbow portal. And the rainbow was so beautiful that it doesn't have to have somebody leading it. It's just there to, for you to take inside a memory, create a memory. That was a beautiful memory. It's a new issue that they came 
because they're here. Yeah, they let us know that that we no longer have to struggle and that we can just be free to to be and uh, they are here doing the work. They've got our back. There, you can feel them. You can smell them. Sometimes touch see, them. That's what you're on here. <laughs> yep. So, so we know they're here and we communicate with them telepathically. They're always communicating with us. But remember that we've been many, many lifetimes. So we have them all inside us. We have every language that we've been inside us. One, one uh, message that was given to me, and this is when I was like taking a bath. And I was just like on, a, on my own little medicine journey. And they were like, thank you. And I said, for what? Thank you for having this experience for us. And I said, what do you mean for us? And they said, well, we're utilizing your vessel to have these experiences. Not all your thoughts are yours. Some of them are ours. The advice that is given to you is our, our information to you. So you're really living out many lifetimes at one time. They're letting you know that, that thank you for taking charge of this vessel but allowing them to come and join us in that experience. And, and that was very profound message to me. And then that's when I understand why I had so many different languages from different nations and so many different songs being downloaded uh, through consciousness. And, uh, and that takes you to the Akashic Records. Nothing's ever yours. Nothing's ever yours, but everything is yours because we're all each other. So you can pick up an idea and become a photographer if you want. You could be a writer if you want. You could be a hairdresser if you want. It's up to whatever you pick. And when you're done with it, you throw it back up and the next person takes over whatever you didn't get to finish. So nothing's ever really yours, but everything is yours. What I've learned in uh, this experience and this walk is um, I don't have to do everything. I have many friends and family that do everything for me. I could have a friend that does hula hooping, which I love to do, but I don't have to master it because I've probably done that in another lifetime and my friend is doing it for me and I get to watch it this time. I get to enjoy it. I don't have to film because we have our friend filming for us. <laughs> but I've been a filmer before in another lifetime so I get to chill and be able to talk crap on TV <laughs> so so really understanding that we're all taking turns at doing the things that we do and that we love and we attract each other and what I really learned on Father's Day the day before Father's Day was um, <sighs> we've had the help from the animals, from the earth. And then we learned about our seven seals, our chakras. And then the Christ consciousness comes in through the quietness of the mind. And as you quiet your mind, the answers come. And as the answers come, your auric field expands. And as your auric field expands, you call in your family. And as you call in your family, you hold your hands. And as you hold your family's hands, we enlighten the whole world. We come together in unity as the Galactic Federation, as the true Rainbow Tribe. And as we amplify this and expand and we elevate this earth and we elevate everybody with this earth, and then we come back to center and become one and then we start a new game Ta -da! <laughs> so that was a, a beautiful message that um, we did receive and they said you are not alone we're always here and we love you it is fine you're taking care of you could have whatever you want and those were really good messages that we needed to hear at this time because we're we're at this end game. We've even made a movie about it. And uh, we don't know. We can assume what has happened because we get many different uh, 
different answers of dimensions of um, yeah, third dimension, fourth dimension, yeah, fifth like dimension. There's different want, end wanna, games. Which one do you want to create? Yeah. So there's many different end games, and it's not going to be all one movie. It's going to be different movies as you pull the slinky apart, and there's all these different movies. So which ending are you going to be at? So it's up to you to choose which ending that you want to be at. Do you want the cataclysmic event? Do you want to transfer to another world? Or do we shift everything on this mm. earth like that? So what do we do? It's up to you what you choose. You're the creator. You're universe. You're the universal source. The universal source. <laughs> you are actually, you are the tree that don't see itself. It, it doesn't see how beautiful itself or how powerful the tree is or, you know, how deep its roots go. It doesn't see itself. It doesn't notice how beautiful it is until you put a mirror in front of it. And when you put a mirror in front of it, it's this other, other human being that has five fingers just like you. Then you really see either I got to work on that <laughs> or hey, I accomplished that. Heck yes. Let's move on. Let's let's graduate from all of that. Stop making excuses for not doing anything like don't make an excuse for like you feel like you're not accomplishing anything. You're not helping out. You're helping out by just being in the present moment, being yourself, being your authentic self, and not trying to fake it to make it. Being authentic. Being authentic. It's a hard thing to practice, but you can, and you will be. Just, we gotta learn how to let go and master the ego. When you master the ego and speak from your heart, that's when the magic really happens. That's when all the right messages come to us. That's when all the power comes back to us. And we truly believe. Believe. This guy reminds us of how to believe in one another. How to believe in the magic. He leaves little clues. She leaves little clues. And that's, alright, I get it. Thank you guys, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that is no. kind of like, how beautiful life is, what the purpose of life is. It's just to be beautiful, practice being a human being, don't practice being somebody else. Somebody else is playing that role, let them play that role. You just be you. Be the best human being that you can be. Sounds like a commercial, huh? But wait. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> For nine ninety nine. <laughs> you can have so much fun. So really um learning your song, learning your voice, learning how to sing your song and helping one another through your song and I was uh, talking about you know when you take a shower you sing those songs that come and uh, through you so now it's singing your light language because we are creating the universal song. So as you're taking your shower, you're blessing that water, you're speaking to that water, and it goes down the drain and through the pipes and to your brother and sister, right? So we're sending all those messages. We go to the river and you sing the song. 
and you say I love you and you sing those songs and speak your language and send those frequencies out send those frequencies out and drinking your glass of water singing that song to your water blessing that water and drinking it to amplify yourself amplify amplify and code and code you know we're learning how to do things fast forward we have the tools and you don't have to have all these bells and whistles anymore it's really fast it's frequency there's a lot of frequency that we're utilizing just by drawing it by doing sigils by you know there's all this magical stuff and it's out there and we're here and we came here as the beacon of light so take advantage of all your brothers and sisters coming to you and there's no more competition there's it's more collaboration now it's not about competing against one another that ego has to sleep a little bit the ego is good to utilize it's good to protect us and good to to discern but really embracing um, collaboration and unification how do we unify and what does that look like to you learning consent and reciprocation reciprocity reciprocity you know we have to really make this a balanced dance between each other no more taking it's it's important for us to gift to one another and uh and so many beings around us last night we were visited by so many beings and all they wanted to do was watch us have fun they're like hey they're having fun over there they're having fun come on let's go and there's all these amazing pictures of all these orbs coming and showing up because all they want you to do is have fun because all our nations are watching us and maybe this is not the right timing yet because our frequencies aren't quite there yet for them to be able to be right here next to us but I tell you it's going to be soon when you see my little brothers and my big brothers coming and standing next to us and we'll say yes we did it <laughs> we did it so how are we going to make this last dance on earth this is our last dance this is our last dance and why do we do it for love 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 <laughs> love love right so have fun play you know in amazement you're amazing you're amazing too because <laughs> you're me <laughs> yeah so I don't know, I, I think that's what our our message needs to be, to simplify, simplify everything and activate everything and amplify everything and encode, encode, encode and end the old programs and create new programs and then unlearn, to relearn, to unlearn, to relearn and it's a constant game as long as you're here on earth. It's a constant involvement. And it's rewarding. Because then you get to experience love, 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 love. <laughs> and food. And food. <laughs> and food. But don't take on anybody's stuff anymore. You don't have to be the savior anymore. We're done doing that. It is time to just be the example. And once you stand in that authenticity and you are that example, then everybody is going to want to up their game and put their big boy panties on, big girl panties on, and, and make themselves a better person. Until we heal ourselves, there's no, no elevating this. We have to heal ourselves first. We've got to come back to the inner standing. Inner standing. No more gurus. The guru is inside you. We're here just as an example and a reminder to come back home. Like Pink Floyd's song, huh? The little creatures. Mm -hmm. Come back home. Come back home. Come back home. All oh, the doorways are here. Do you need another doorway? We'll create another doorway. We're holding the ship door open. Can you get in already? 
Are you ready? <laughs> so these are important times. So just do the work. Love yourself. Play. That's have it. fun. Simple. It's simple. Make it simple. Don't overthink it. We overthink a lot of stuff. But the one thing you want to think about is ourselves and what direction we need to head into. Or want practice, to. practice, practice, practice everything that you do, everything that you love. What do you want to know? <laughs> what do you feel around you? Oh, I got like fairies over here. I have there is this is abundance of energy just flowing you know, coming I through. I, I, I can't I can't do this on my own. This is why we are this me. being here <laughs> saying Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Spread the message. Get the message out there. I can feel it right here. It's like because <laughs> you're in the physical. We're in the spiritual. I have. Is I have like all these little fairies around me. They're like, oh. <laughs> so they like to tickle. Uh, I think the Ponte are here too. So they're like, the they love to follow us because we're from New Mexico. So they like to follow us around and lead us in the directions. We've been followed by ships. They've been leading us and uh, really guarding us on our journeys and protecting us. Um, Octorius are here because that's my nation, so they're all here. Uh, who else is here? Who do you feel? Well, Sasquatch is all around us. They're all like watching, listening, curious. They're really curious about what we're, what they're saying. They're like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't forget. Okay, what do you forget. see around us? <laughs> the Arcturus are here too. Energy flowing constantly. I have a. Uh, it's funny because there's like the smaller Arcturus and there's like these medium ones and then there's these big giant ones and the big giant ones are always like very like firm and direct and. <sighs> I know there's one behind me, and and uh. They're so, they have this amazing love. There's so much love that they have, but they're really like firm. And, and, and uh, I guess that's where I get that from. I don't know. But, uh, their language to be, I know it's a lot faster for others, but I think the, the, the ones that are like kind of in charge have a different dialect. So. Kuyamanamaniatatianomaniatoamanashinianiano and yana niya tati sinia niya towa ane niya na niya towa. So they're like telling me that they're honored to be on film right now. Thank you. And um, the light language is just just the beginning. This is just for us to be able to speak to each other out of ego. Um, we are not going to need light language later because we will be telepathy. So at this time, it's really important for us to practice the light language to elevate us, uh, to go into meditation in your light language because you'll get all the answers that you need. Um, but they do want you to know that that's just a crutch for now. 
and in the future we will be telepathing so they're going to advance us a lot more the more work we do the more they're going to speak to us telepathically and we're going to speak to each other more telepathically because we will understand a lot more we will be elevated enough so uh, don't get so fixated on your light language but utilize it at the time um, yes uh, there will be disclosure um, and the way that they're wanting to do it is uh, one case at a time so um, it will be when we gather and when we gather it will be all people that are ready um, if there is one person that is not ready they will not show up they can only show up in the one um, so this is why uh, a lot of our gatherings there's still people that we are compromising and trying to do this to when they are not ready so this is um, why they have not um, came to us in a physical form that is why uh, most people that uh, get interacted with the star brother or even sasquatch they are ready their frequencies are ready to be able to handle uh, the visual of who we are so um, smaller groups are better and uh, people that are ready so really gauge on uh, who is coming to the circle for us to be able to interact so this is the messages that they're they're giving to me at this time um, it's really close it's really close uh, really remember that um, ships are still a third and fourth dimensional um, object and uh, we don't utilize those we show we have ships above the earth but when we come we come without a ship so we land like Star Trek um, so they don't they're not going to that's how you will know the false flag so the false flag will be uh, the government will they they've been working with our technology to to be able to infiltrate but the game has already been won uh, they are no longer going to have control over the human beings uh, no longer a human race because we are no longer racing against each other is what they're wanting you to remember no longer race against each other um, this is what keeps us separated this is why this is why in the school system they got rid of the art the dance the play and they only kept the sports the sports was to keep us against each other to uh, make us be one team against another and keep that division. in our play the division so now we're going to integrate the play, the dance, the singing, all that must come back. And we will be creating new schools for the younger generation. Remember that all the blueprints that we are creating on the earth, we will utilize in another timeline, in another planet. more colors, more frequencies, more fifth dimensional gas stations, as Tammy says. We'll be here on Earth for you to fuel up your tank, do more inner work, more inner work. The time is now. There is no more waiting. Don't wait anymore. We are on warp 33. We are definitely warping faster. All your abundance is coming to you. It is here. And it may not come in the way of a monetary value. It may be a gifting. It may be... Oh, it may be a service. It may be a protection. 
there's many different gifts that are going to be given and traded amongst each other. Ooh. Yes, a lot of work. A lot of work is being done where we don't have to do it anymore. So just have fun. We have you. We have your back is basically what they're telling me. We have your back. And I have shivers all over. So any blueprint that you guys are having in your mind, please um, write them down. Because once you write them down, you have already created it. And then it will manifest. If you're thinking it, speak it, and then write it, and then it is solidified. What do you need? This is what Garrett keeps telling us. What do you need? What, what do you what need? What do you really want? What does the universe really want? We don't go out, we go in, in their standings, in their work, answers that inside. You're always invited to go inside, the door's never locked. We just choose to lock it on ourselves because we don't understand at that time. But now, better get on it. Find the key that fits. Open up. Come on in. The answers are in here. Uh, remember that you are going to be traveling or being called to travel only because you are a crystal being. Many of you that we are speaking to right now at this time are crystal beings. And you have already elevated to the crystal status, um, uh, getting out of the old DNA and advancing. Um, so as crystal beings, we're like, we're like the biological computers that are uploading and downloading all the frequencies around the earth. Yeah, so, the carbon, carbon paper. <laughs> yeah. You've moved up and evolved into gathering information faster, storing it, and deleting a lot of information. Useless information. It was usable at a certain time, but now it's like, there you go, go on to the next one. Oh, wow. This is new. These are new feelings. These are new frequency. The sounds. New expressions. 
one, 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 one,